Nurses across much of the UK launched an unprecedented strike today. That's right. Roughly 100,000 nurses are refusing to work, canceling an estimated 70,000 appointments in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. The British Medical Association reports more than 7 million people are currently waiting for treatment in the UK. This strike, this is what's really interesting about it, is the first national walkout in the 106-year history of Great Britain's nursing union. BBC correspondent Nick Johnson joins us now outside of St. Thomas's Hospital in London. Nick, uh, tell us about what you're seeing. I mean, as Lana just spelled out, this is unprecedented when it comes to how people are being cared for. And explain why nurses are doing this. Unprecedented is absolutely right. And as you say, the NHS has been around for more than 100 years. This is the first time uh, nurses are put, as part of our health service have taken this action. As you say, I'm at St Thomas's Hospital, one of the largest hospitals in London. You might be able to see uh, Big Ben just in the background here. We're right in the heart of London. And it's here, one of the main picket lines of the Royal College of Nurses, the main nursing union, where nurses are taking action here today. At times, there have been up to 200 nurses on the picket line here. They've been locked in an argument with the UK government. The nurses are calling for around a 19% pay increase above inflation. Uh, but the UK government has said that's completely unaffordable. It already offered nurses a pay rise uh, last year. But nurses are saying in, in the current cost of living climate, uh, that, that pay rise is not enough. It's quite paradoxical, actually, that, that whilst very serious things have been talked about here, the future of the NHS, the future of patient care, uh, it, it's felt like a bit of a carnival atmosphere here today. Um, I don't know if you've been able to hear me, but the people over my role show are ex still extremely vocal. We've had uh, vehicles honking their horns, there have been loud cheers going past, people have been handed out, handing out homemade cakes throughout the day, uh, and lots of people gathering in support, and lots of talk about that COVID pandemic, the sort of support the nurses gave uh, the health service and COVID patients, and how that really should be recognised by the UK government going forward. Well, we certainly hope uh, that this can be solved soon, especially given the 7 million people who right now are looking for medical care. Uh, Nick, let's turn our attention to another major walkout in the UK. Tell us the latest on the widespread rail strikes. Yeah, we've already had some rail strikes this month. We've got another rail strike tomorrow and over the weekend. About one in five train services will be operating around the UK. People are trying to get away uh, to see family and friends. Of course, we've got Christmas just around the corner and those trains again uh, tomorrow will not be operating. Those station platforms will be quiet uh, and we've got train strikes going forward this side of Christmas and the other side of Christmas. Uh, disruption still uh, looking further ahead is still in place. All right, Nick Johnson, thank you very much.